Welcome to <laughs> Tears of a Clown, the stream where we make tier lists for different things. And today it's X Men. Uh, Jake, my co host, welcome. It's great to be here with uh, <laughs> with uh, my old uh, Nerd of Mouth co host, Mike Lawrence. With I, do, Does Logan count as an X Man? He is named for one. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he does. <laughs> now, uh, Mike, if you're not familiar he's with actually an Australian 55 year old uh, Broadway actor <laughs> <laughs> who's going it's through like a divorce the, right now, which is amazing it's for like him. The, it's like the Natalie Grace thing. He's actually a huge actor. <laughs> well, we're all no, hoping Logan will come out in the next couple of years, like we all know is the situation, uh, apparently. With <laughs> he, that he lives actor. in California, there's a good chance he'll come out. <laughs> um, I. Oh. I have the weirdest rumor about him and Ewan McGregor that a New York City hairdresser swore to me was true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tears of a Clown. Thank you for being here, co-host Jake. And we have a wonderful guest tonight, Mike Lawrence, uh, a fantastic comedian, joke writer. He's been out on the road opening for Pete Davidson, writing for his show Bupkus. And it says right here, you uh, wrote every joke for Joe Coy's <laughs> opening monologue in the Golden Globes. And I'm just so happy to have you here tonight. Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> I know, Absolutely. man. I mean, threw me under the bus, you know. I, <laughs> I, I just, I just want to say the only thing that I wrote was the Asian uh, mom act out. <laughs> no, everything else is him. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you know what's funny in 2024. <laughs> uh, and also 1944. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, thank you so much for being here. Today we are ranking the X-Men, and it's a very exciting time for everybody, I'm sure. Uh, and everyone's asking right now, it's not by bangability. It's not how uh, how good they'd be in bed. I know we've been doing those a lot lately. I'm sure eventually we will do one of those for the X-Men themselves, but we're not doing it tonight. We're just ranking them by... Actually, this is a really good question. What are we ranking them by? What would you say, Jake and Mike? I want to hear your opinion, too. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Because like, what makes a good X Man? Is it just uh, the just the well roundedness of the character? Whether they've been involved in good storylines, their utility on the team, just your own base affinity for them? Because I feel like Psylocke wouldn't qualify in a lot of ways, but in another way, where she's a British lady trapped in the body of a Japanese assassin with a yes. psychic knife and no pants on. Totally. That's an S tier for me, maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I kind of think it's made, are we going whole package here? Been in some really good I mean, stories. To me, a part of it is it's like, what, yeah. What makes them an X man? Are they essential to the team? And I always say this, the, the ultimate test of a comic book character, are you more likely to want to buy or mm. read uh, at, a, at a Barnes & Noble, uh, more realistically, uh, a book if they're on the cover? Yes. Ooh, that that's is a, a good great, one. That's a great kind of uh, rubric. All right. I didn't think about that. I think those are good. By the way, Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Six Squirrel. And please consider subbing to the channel. It's how we keep the channel going. Click that sub button. Gift those subs. Do everything you can uh, to get the subs uh, going. And let's move into the first uh, one here. Let's move into uh, what are we starting with tonight? Oh my oh. god! <laughs> and also, there's Tearzo. Welcome Speaking to the show, Tearzo. <laughs> You're making the child. Oh, 
You're making the, the Logan very upset right now. Um, the purity of a oh, child. God. child. I want to cry now. <laughs> the horror. Apparently, his favorite his up. favorite X Man is Banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what oh, was I little baby with me Sonic screams? <laughs> <laughs> Tears. So thanks for being here. Uh, uh, your who's your favorite? Bit late. <laughs> <laughs> who's your favorite X Man? By okay, uh, there you go. It looks like Xavier. It looks like Xavier <laughs> is the uh, favorite of Tears. So, well, let's get into it. what's the first one we're doing here. What's the first one on the chopping block? Oh, I did not no. Angel. see someone uh, today on this stream that uh, I subscribed to their OnlyFans. Gloomy Ghost, thank you for the sub. <laughs> yeah, wait, are you talking about the uh, Graver Pants Angel or Tirzo? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't even know. It's anybody's guess at this point. Anybody's guess. Can't it be both? <laughs> a lot Do of we a lot consider... Of Archangel as part of the equation because I kind of love Archangel. Very toyetic, very edgy, razor sharp metal feathers. Looks very good cool. in a toy package, definitely. Looks good in that package. Looks good on that cover. Outside of that, I have not much of a, I feel like an interaction with Angel is my problem. I just don't have much of a connection to. Uh, uh, by the way, Mike is waiting for his wife to get up to take over with, uh, sweet child Wolverine. Uh, so we and if any of you have a problem with that, if any of you are like, <laughs> Hey, what's the deal? Why can't he argue about X-Men instead? He's caring for his one and only beautiful child. <laughs> then, uh, you're weird. You're weird for being here. Uh, so uh, what do you think? I think it's kind of, yeah, a uh, low tier at best. It's, it's a little dead in the water. Unless you want to explain to me what makes uh, a angel. Uh, Archangel stand out. Uh, he's blue and pointy. That's literally it. That was it. It's just he was such a snooze character. And that is not Angel. That is not. That is that is not that is not Angel. <laughs> that Nick is Cannon a man has had way more spinoffs than Angel has. That, this is very true. <laughs> this is very true. Uh, yeah, Mike. Anything to say about uh, Archangel? Angel, Archangel. He sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for a few F, all right, for F. a few for a few reasons. Okay, first off, he's like redundant in a lot of ways, right? He's he's mm -hmm. rich, but so is Charles. He has the most inconvenient way of flying in a world full of lots of convenient flying people. Mm -hmm. Like even mm -hmm. Namor looks at him and I'm like, oh, those little things on my feet that take up your whole fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah. it's such a, like, I, I get it in terms of the aesthetic of, like, a mutant and someone with a mutation. Here's a guy who's got big wings, but it's kind of lame. And here's how you know it's lame. They had to darken him up to try to make him cool. <laughs> and then he just became lame in a different way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm then he sick also and tired of these. Yeah. Ah, look at that, though. That's so cool. Because... He then wasn't even like they they made him dark, but then like he was like the third blue guy on the team. Yes, <laughs> so he still yeah. wasn't that fucking special. And I it's feel like and you're like, oh, he's got these wings, but but they're poison darts. Uh, I remember his toy, and and the the first toy sucked because mm -hmm. it, it was like these little white wings, even though they're supposed to be like these giant gray metal things, and. Um, and they would just, you could flick a little, like, yeah, dart They out didn't of even have spring-loaded yes. projectiles. The, the uh, mechanic yeah. was, oh, you God. just push them out. And that was so, even my child brain was like, I deserve better than this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, let's look, just. Look at his face. Like, he looks ashamed <laughs> to be alive. <laughs> let's let all right let's lock it out are we going f are we starting with an f tier f, character i think f i think it's i, I was I, gonna I, say d but i don't know what makes him I not go f. D. I, go, I, I go d because he still does serve a purpose okay there is something special about him okay I, all right let's do d i'm <laughs> the into handing it. of the child has happened i think the handing <laughs> of the of the child and it looks like most people place. agree but of course if you don't agree there's always the veto balloon mike myself and jake all have one if you want to uh, move one up or down a peg you don't agree with the final uh, uh decision then you get to pop your veto balloon and chat you get a veto balloon as well uh not only uh can you vote in a poll for a group veto balloon but also um we will be for the first two people who gift five subs 
to the channel, <laughs> you get your own yourself. veto balloon. You get your own one. Uh, so there you go. All right. Thank you so much, Tierzo. And back to the show. What's the next one? What do we got? Oh, Tierzo is like a whole improv troupe just put into one person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's Beast. That can, I'm guessing that that's you Beast. Could not, you can have we at least have, choose, have chosen a picture with, with glasses on the guy? I mean, what is going on? Or just right. show Kelsey Grammer with a blue Photoshop okay. filter over That's it. the thing. There you go. I love oh, Kelsey God. Grammer, and I think maybe he's what charmed <laughs> me to this character as much as what? he did. I like Beast. Oh, good job, Tirso. You're a I, regular smart gorilla man. I like Beast. I'm 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 rooting for Beast a little bit here. No, do I think he's like A tier? No, probably not. But there's uh, I love the very intelligent, scary looking trope person trope thing. You know what I mean? I feel like Mike also oh, resonates well, with the, that. The furry large men are going to argue with you about this. <laughs> <laughs> One of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe I find a little kin uh, kinship in someone who looks <laughs> disgusting and horrifying on the outside, but actually is quite smart and ch charming to be around. If you just give him a I fucking chill. I would kill to look like Beast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The muscles, the hair, the confident uh, fang underbite. Like I could let, have. Let me, let me like, tell you something. If if Jake was looked like Beast, he'd be in my Hank Bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, why right. he's on the show, people. That's <laughs> why he's on the show. So my favorite it, comedian is Joe McCoy. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Every joke he did in that special, uh, in that opening monologue. Uh, uh, so what are you guys thinking? I don't know. I think the monster fuckers are all on board with Beast. I think the fact that he is both the brains and the brawn is very fun. He has Wolverine's exact haircut, so there's like a bonus aura about him. He's like a little Wolverine-y. And is on the show, he's just like quoting Shakespeare and Herman Melville for no reason. And I loved it back on the 90s cartoon. Mike, what do you think? What would you give him off the bat? I'm leaning towards B. I think he's S tier. I think he Ooh. is one of, I think he's one of the top five. Um, mm -hmm. I think that he is really important to the vision of the whole team. Um, look, like... They figured him out early on, right? Like, if you read the first three or four issues of X-Men, and, it, and it's not a great book when it starts, it was clearly, like, the last one Stanley was writing that month. <laughs> and, um, I mean, the last one Jack Kirby was writing that month. And hey. um, so, but basically, when you first read Beast in the first, like, three or four issues, he's written just like the thing. And he sounds mm -hmm. really dumb. And then around, like, issue five or six, Stan just started writing him like Reed Richards. And <laughs> it was such a fun thing to have a guy that, you know, and, and back then he was just a dude with big hands and feet. I have, I'm size <laughs> yes. 14 shoes. I have giant hands. So I, I have a kinship there. But I think what really makes him special is that he truly stands for something. And he's a guy like when they made the dark version of him in the alternate future it really felt scary of him as you, mm -hmm. you saw how smart he really is that he was this geneticist that could fuck things up. But I think, I think the things that make him really important is um, in the third episode of the cartoon, right? Enter Magneto. Magneto tries to break him out of jail and he stays. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is a philosophical, um, you know, pinpoint like a very important part of xavier's dream that he actually raised someone who truly believed in the pacifism and the unification of humans and mutants mike won me just, over I'm, I'm going ass all right I'm going ass uh, uh, but in the like every, so every the time top. you look at like a card with him he's like upside down and shit like <laughs> it's also i'm the kind of nerd too i will give extra preference to any character who they had to make a brand new action figure sculpt of. And mm. Beast, you can't just fucking copy and paste that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we're going I, I S. Think, I think Beast is one of the most important. Let's go S. Yeah. Uh, Yahtzee's uh, you, you reason... You know how iconic he is? He's at the end of the Marvels. He's the first... Yeah. <laughs> connection i mean after professor x but of like oh shit that's beast 
Yahtzee Reese says, comic book beast and Nicholas Holt beast eat pussy, but Kelsey Grammer beast does not. <laughs> no so lies detected. No, he's perfect analysis. Yeah, he's correct in every way. scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the blues are calling. What's up next? What's on the chopping block? And, the blues and, and referring to his test. Xavier is there, he eats tossed salad and crippled legs. <laughs> All right, please. <laughs> Colossus is next, and well, what I have to say about Colossus is big fan of him in the arcade game. He was my number one. Oh, oh, there it is. I was waiting. Do the I thing. was waiting. I never oh, realized until I was a grown adult, by the way, that every time you did the super move, it cost health. And I was just doing it constantly and dying yeah. over it. I did not realize that that was actually what was going on there. But anyways, that's just a side well, note. Doing that impression just cost health. <laughs> oh, hey, shit. Bud in the Coven with the five gifted subsidies. Bud in the Coven has earned themselves a free veto of their choice. Now, you can hold on to it if you want, Bun. I'll check in with you later unless you have a problem with anything we've ranked so far. Bun has opinions. Bun, do you have a veto right now? Just let us know in chat. Either way, thank you so much. You have earned the first uh, 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 subscriber veto balloon of the night. All right. Uh, nice. Yeah, I like writing the name on there. That's kind of fun. Uh, all right. Uh, Colossus. I think highly of Colossus. Uh, I, what was the movie he was great in? Uh, Deadpool. He was great Deadpool. in Deadpool. Deadpool. He was great in Deadpool. And he was also, I enjoyed him in an X-Men Man movie, too, when it was they were focused more on, like, the school of kids. Uh, was that Days of Future Past? First class? Well, either way, he, I don't know. I liked him in, I've liked him in the movies. He's barely in those. I think in Days of Future Past, he's like right at the beginning. It was like, okay. it was, it was, maybe I'm thinking Deadpool. Clear. You can watch those old X-Men movies and see who was forced to be at singers pool parties. Yeah. yeah. And you could see when they stopped attending because they had less lines. But right. enough about Iceman. We'll get to him. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so, what do you, yeah. What do you think? Colossus. So I, I'm high. Colossus. On. Emotional heart of the team, love the Russian accent. Yes. Uh, minus points for how weird he looks in his costume when he's not fully metal. He mm. looks, it's weird with the exposed, like, side torso. Right. It's just a very weird look. It only works on a metal man made of plates and not on a flesh person. It's a very weird thing to wear when you're, he looks like a, a stripper from, like, Reno, not even Vegas. The Curdbird Samurai, thank you for the sub. Mike, weigh in. I, I go I go A tier on Colossus. I think he is one of the iconic ones. I don't think, you know, outside of Deadpool, they've never really gotten him right on screen. But I think that uh yeah, the the rough exterior but gentle artist and you know, part of the worldwide team, the the Russian like the fact that there was a positive portrayal of a Russian. In yeah, the 70s I was about to say 80s. that. I feel like just the fact that there was a good guy Russian was so novel yeah. for all of the 80s and 90s. A, B, just yeah. like, I mean, you know. Yeah, literally, literally all commies had was him and Linka. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was yeah, brutal out there. So, brutal out and there. And Zangief. Zangief. We'll let you into our pop culture, but he's, you got to be He's a ripped. part of the f evil four or no, he's, is he not? Well, whatever. No, he's, he's, evil. Not. he's in Shadowloo in the movie. And also, yeah, he's in Shadowloo. Also, let's be honest. If you're wrestling people with that many open cuts in the middle of the AIDS crisis, you're right. not a good person. Not a good guy. Not a good guy. He's spreading it, and he doesn't give a fuck who does. All right, let's and go. Like, How'd you get those scars? Wrestling bears. Oh, <laughs> where? West Hollywood? <laughs> Um, man, loving the cosplay choices tonight from Eric. That was, by the way, the best uh, ever <laughs> cosplay for Colossus. No one's ever done it better than that. Uh, all right. I, 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 we're, I guess we'll weirdly be in agreement again because I, I I wouldn't go lower than a B, but I'm happy with A because I like him in the video game a lot. Let's give it an A. Anyways, yeah, we got some harder ones. In the video game too. He's also my favorite to play uh, in the uh, Capcom games because yes. you can make oh, him all yeah, yeah. Like, shiny and invincible yes. and just fuck people up. Uh, Super armor. Uh, all right. Here we go. Up next, uh, this one I think might be a little more controversial. I'm not really sure how everyone lies on this. We're going Colossus. Cyclops. I mean, Cyclops. Jesus, God. Sorry. I got, I'm a Cyclops. I, sorry, I was staring well, at that. I it was going to be controversial because there was controversy in him saying the name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset by the picture. God, how the guy has like, no visible so penis. Much. 
Um, they hate him so much, but I think he's a really good character and clutched for like the X Men team. Yeah, I think he's strong in terms of the what he brings to the dynamic of the group. I feel like so many like storylines and you know, uh, 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 just conflict and and stuff it comes from you know the love triangle yeah. with him and Wolverine and Jean Grey. Like, so and many of his plot lines are like. God damn it, Wolverine. Stop being so cool and radical. Yeah, I and swear to God, if you act on your own and be a brave hero one more time, I'll just zap you. Yeah, Marco Simples. Marco Simples just says Narclops in chat. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? He's a narc? <laughs> He's, yeah, Cyclops I mean... is a narc. <laughs> Cyclops was not at the Capitol in January Cyclops 6th. would fucking try to give me a rest for selling weed in L.A. You know what I mean? <laughs> or smoking it or whatever. Let me, let me let me say this. Raphael is only a badass rebel if he's going up against someone who enforces the rules. Yep. Yes! Yes! I was saying he's necessary. He's necessary. And, and and I look, I know that they predate the turtles, but like Cyclops is the template of Leonardo. He's the template of the Boy Scout leader. I think that he Oh God. And 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 look, there are a lot of arguments of how he's a dork and everything. He is the most important X-Man. He yes. the first one there. Wow. He's the he's the one that can't leave. He can't sell a mm -hmm. book on his own. But when he's on the cover of an X-Men book, it feels like the X-Men. The fact the that the number one selling Jim Lee X-Men number one comic is a big bold Cyclops and just a little Wolverine just hunched over in the corner. Totally, Abana says Storm is a fantastic leader. People are going to be. I think we're going to get our first veto from chat coming up here in a little bit because people me, are. Let me, let me, he's no, not I'm sexually not, frozen. Not his parents were attacked by aliens, <laughs> and his dad is also an alien. I get confused. It's very confusing. Yeah, who's whose best friend is a chode named Chode? No. <laughs> but let me. No, I'm not done filibustering here yet. Okay, here's here's also why Cyclops is important, right? Because he can't fit into normal society. He needs a team. He has like a genuine impairment. He is the bridge between the original X-Men and giant size X-Men. He's the one who stayed. He's the one who led them. Um, in the uh, Proteus saga, <laughs> he ends up <laughs> beating the rest of the team when they have no morale left. Because that's how great of a leader he is. He's He is, to me, the X-Men. It's not the X-Men without Cyclops. I agree with that. I agree that it's not the X-Men without Cyclops. Somebody said he does only fuck Jean Grey clones. Uh, <laughs> and I will say that puts him up a little bit uh, on the level of Kanye West a little fucks, bit. Uh, fucking Snow Lady. White Queen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, January Jones. Yeah, she brings a little Never different problems. angle. Emma yeah. Frost, that's it. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? I mean, is that, I, mean, I guess Mike's making a case for, I'm guessing, S. I would say more like an A for me, just because of the fact that I do think he would, like, tell on me if I, like, you know, pissed in a cup or something and poured it on someone's pillow to get back at them or something like that. I don't know what he'd tell me about, but uh, what do you think? Are you saying S, Mike? Yes. Jake, what do you say in the tie? I say A. What are you saying? I think we have to acknowledge just how many people Cyclops just viscerally upsets. <laughs> and so I think it's only logical to make it A, not S. But I would, I would do it S in a in on my personal list. So But let me let me say this. <laughs> the fact that he fucking makes you feel something. Yes. And that when you look mm -hmm. at him, yes. it's the hatred you had as an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes you feel like an angry nerd kid again mm -hmm. matters to me. I love I it. Think it's I'm, important. I think it I was definitely not thinking we were going this high on Cyclops, so I think let's land it at an A for now. Mike, you have a veto <laughs> balloon you can use at any point. But in the coven has I, a veto balloon. My S's. I have, I believe, four or five S's, and I see we're doing this alphabetically. I know what they already are. And okay. He, I went in and he had to be there. Okay. Me. All right. Well, we'll get we'll get to it in a little bit. Bun saving it. Chad, if you feel strongly about uh, bringing Cyclops down another peg, uh, throw those veto balloons in chat. We'll put it to a poll. If not that, 
What is, and also we have one other person that could sub for uh, uh, five gifted subs will get you also your own Vita balloon. We only have one of those left, short supply. All right, what is the next one? Dazzler. Dazzler. I'm a little partial to Dazzler because apparently Taylor Swift is almost confirmed to play Dazzler what? in the next. Yes. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes. I guess I can't make fun of that movie if it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. You get very pursed lips and a sip of champagne at the, the least. God. It's the are, are like X-Men fans the last group of people that Swifties have not declared total war on? Is that the last <laughs> Like like the Lord of the Rings, it's just the last stronghold. I think we're pretty, yeah, it's pretty much, that's the final frontier here. That and Trekkies. Uh, what do we got, though, for Dazzler? I'm seeing, looking at D's for great. Dazzler. We just put the mediocre Cyclops at an S tier, and now we're talking about Taylor Swift. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I won't argue it, but I will argue this. Dazzler... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know what the fuck with that. This is where my experience mm -hmm. and background is a little rough. And I kind of want the uh, Mike and Jake to like lead me here. So take it away, boys. Well, it's funny because she, uh, she was this holdover from this very convoluted and just completely fucked weird disco movie album concept where she was going to be played by like Grace Jones. <laughs> and as it just like fell apart and fell apart and fell apart. Now her biggest claim to fame is the video game where she's just like a laser aerobics instructor. Mike, you can dispute this story. <laughs> I I think that she is a a straight up C. She's right in yeah. the middle. There is there is fun there, but you know the 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 problem with Dazzler is yeah, she is so of her time that anytime they try to modernize her they just go back to the jokes of how, you know, much of an anachronism she is. And she also, like, she is the feeling that you feel when you show up to the arcade late and there's only <laughs> one controller left. Yeah, that is, I a, mean, I hate to base so much off of the cabinet. Of six. The arcade X Men, but like it's hard it to not it with Dazzler. Let me say, let me let me say this: it ain't sexism. We were all excited to play Storm. Yeah, Storm's Ooh, amazing Jesus in that Christ, game. If you got stuck with Dazzler. You Absol got made fun of. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> You'll get pants. People will kick you in the shins. It's a nightmare. I mean, in yeah. Chef makes... Benet Jesserit says, "I picked Dazzler first, which you know, it's an aesthetic. It's a vibe. You're more than entitled to." So, so here's the thing. I think Daz, I agree with Dazzler being a C, but I have one question. Before we lock that in, I have one question to ask Mike. Is there an F on this list for you? Because my only problem is we don't, we, do you have any Fs? If we're ranking Angel D, Dazzler C. I mean, you're not picking, uh, you're, you're going with like the, the big mainstream ones. Yeah. But there's yeah. been like over 100 X-Men, you know. Is maggot There's here? no maggot. <laughs> there's no Polaris. For there's Forge no... is on here. Forge is on there. Oh, you made a horrible mistake, Holden. You're talking to like the number three. Yeah, Forge like I'm fan. gonna like I'm gonna give him an F tier the same uh time of uh year where Killers of the Flower Moon came out. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. myself look like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Locker in a C, but we're looking at an F list tier list here, I think. All right, there you go. C. What do we got? What do we got coming around the curb here? Uh Emma oh Frost. wait, no. Oh, okay. What's her deal? Oh, I see him now. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm about to start vetoing Eric's uh, choices for reference photos. Good God. I, she's like, I always saw her as just this like generic Hellfire Club bad guy. And then she was kind of brought into the fold in the 2000s. And, you know. The great, like, she does, like, stir up the pot in a fun way. Uh-huh. But I just have no, like, I'm ne I, I just have no emotional connection to this character. And January Jones was fucking horrible. Oh, and she was awful. Yeah, she really didn't sell yeah. the character any, any, yeah, that's the thing. That's why I kind of have, again, kind of like Dazzler, I have very little to work with in my, in, with my background. Mike. I mean, I think she's one of those, you know, and there are several uh, villains that become, you know, members of the X-Men. And I think that she was more fun as a villain. Mm. I, I kind of loved her 
Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's interesting. I, hmm. I think her as a member of the X Men is the least interesting time for her. I love her in the Hellfire Club. I love her leading the evil X Men, the Hellions. I think that's great. I love her in Generation X, leading this like new group of of people. Her as a member is so like Grant Morrisony. And yeah, it's just Grant Morrison, one of like my a stern British as a, woman. As a, as a comic book fan, and there there have been a few books he's written that I love, but for the most part, I'm never emotionally connected to a lot of his stuff. And she's one of those characters that I, I always want to like more than I do. And I do a lot of Sporkle quizzes where, you know, <laughs> it's like write every member of the X-Men in like 10 minutes and shit like that. I often forget about her. Is she our first and F? She's you not an what? F, though. She's not an Well, F. as a member of the X-Men, Mike brings up a very good Ooh, point. She's likable okay. in other things, but as a member of the X-Men, I think she's a fucking yeah. F, dude. She's a okay. fuck her face on a, F. Her on, a, her on a book is not making me buy it. She is an F, R-O-S-T. Yep. And, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll and January do Jones, it. I think, steals the deal for me. Horrible. You know what steals the deal yeah. for me? The fact that she can also turn into a big diamond, which is a weird non sequitur <laughs> power. I think that's very silly and I'm, dumb. My, pray, my prayers are answered. We got our first F. Make it F. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. All right, now we're cooking. All right, I made a mistake with Forge. I want to apologize to the Native American community or Martin <laughs> Scorsese or somebody. But either way, you, I owe you an apology. Wow. What's great the about Forge? Foil. The tinfoil on okay, the I'll, knee. Can I, can I take the lead on Forge? Yeah, take the lead on Forge. I just... Another redundancy. I think Beast does it better. He just builds shit, but that's what Beast does. Beast is also a scientist that makes stuff. I think that Forge, his best stuff was in X-Factor and not X-Men. I mean, yeah, the stuff, uh, the life force stuff with Storm is kind of fun, but for the most part, he he is right there. Like, uh, I, I I'd go I'd go C C. I'd like it. Can I make right a case for middle, for Nighthawk Street Fighter? Can I make a case for that for a second? Uh, he's a great <laughs> character. I love the tomahawk chop. It's fantastic. <laughs> Me, uh, T Hawk. Hawk, that's who it is. T Hawk, I'm fucking up names left and oh, right dude, here, man. I swear Night I didn't Wolf smoke weed today. <laughs> yeah, Night Wolf and Mortal Kombat. Did you mix up Night Wolf and T Hawk? Yeah, I totally <laughs> mixed up the two, dude. I'm so sorry, bro. You, Anyways, you, I want to apologize. You made fucking 90s colonizer. fighting game developers look more sensitive on issues of Native American representation. Either oh, do way, you, do you root for the fat, the fat guy in the purple suit when you watch Pocahontas? You piece of shit. <laughs> All right, all right, people call me racist, I'm canceled, all these sorts of things. Look, hey, they're not all my jokes. The ones I wrote are funny, all right? My writers wrote the bad ones, okay? <laughs> Great save. Uh, let me, I let will me just say, say this, I was like... <laughs> let me just say this. I, I can make fun of you for Native American racism only because I saw that Thunderbird is not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm happy um, with Forge I'm, being a C. Jake, uh, finish us out on Forge here. I wanted, I was like, no, I think I like Forge. I think Forge deserves more than a C. And then I remembered, I don't actually like Forge the character. I like the way Jim Lee draws giant nonsensical laser guns, which was the only thing Forge ever had in his hands. And uh, that's not a character trait. That's just how it, one it, guy draws weird, dumb guns. And how the fuck did this guy get on here and and and, and Bishop and Banshee aren't? <laughs> That's Jake. Take uh, that we up had with to, Jake. We had to cut for time. We had to cut for time. It's not a. Uh, <laughs> we'd be here for days. Speaking of which, let's let's lock it in at C so we can get out of the next one. Forge your C. You're done. You're over to me. All right. Fucking keeping it moving here. What do we got next? I hope it's better than Forge. I am. Oh. A, I'm a, I like him. <laughs> I don't care what kind of oh, way you're trying to make blue. me not like him. I fucking like Gamut. I like the, yeah, I like the Nolan's flavor. I like his kind of, the way he romances and stuff. Flaming I cards like is fucking cool. costume design is just a clusterfuck. It's just the most <laughs> stupidest. He has little leg armor. He's got it's a puppy so crazy. collar. He's it's got a so crazy. Gun. He's got the, not even fingerless gloves, like, two middle fingers and then two non everything about his design is so yeah he looks like a fucking stupid. jojo's bizarre adventure character he's, he's absolutely <laughs> 
definitely a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure villain. Wait, is that I, supposed uh, to be Gambit? Because those all look like Riptide from the first class movie. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Either way, that's we're getting. Uh, regardless, I love the flaming cards though, and I do remember him being very necessary in this really bad Sega Genesis X Men game. Uh, that I was forced to play because I got it day one because it came with a poster and it ended up being really awful. Uh, but I played it a lot anyways. Uh, people also, also he yeah, was, Gambit. He, he romanced Rogue even though like he's the number one fuck boy and they could never touch, but he was a gentleman and a romantic about yeah. it. I really like that. Jake, Jake, he romanced Rogue in the same way Steve Urkel romanced Laura for eight seasons. <laughs> yeah, wait, is there a... <laughs> Just, hold hold I'm sorry, her Mike. Until is... she gave in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, dating. What are we talking about here? I don't understand. I don't know, babe. Babe, remember when I screeched until you agreed to a second date? Why that are people romantic? saying "s" in this chat? Chat, tell me why it's "s." Mike, tell me why it's not "s." Oh, someone's gonna get their veto balloon ready because he Remy <laughs> love blows. What? Fuck this guy. No. What? No, no, you know, it's <laughs> Josie Reese just he... said S for slipping off my seat. Yeah, everybody's horny for him, Mike. So I don't know how much for your, uh, your traction you're going to get here. By the way, real quick, thanks everybody for subbing to the channel tonight. Please consider subbing. Hit that sub button. If you have you... Amazon Prime, you can sub to any channel of your choice. Uh, make it this one. You, consider you do the realize subs. that if he. If he comes in your face, it's going to explode. All right, he please. Will literally explode he doesn't have like to I'm in a Kevin face. Smith Listen, movie right now. He he cre he transfers the potential energy of any inert object into kinetic energy. It's not that complicated of a power. People are apologizing yeah, for how horny they're being right now. Focused on him. Every story focused on him has potential energy, and it's never fucking fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you giving him? Are you saying D? I'm gonna go D, you know, and, and, and here's no. here's why. No. Yes. You know why? <laughs> Cause you read it's those you watch those cartoons now, you read those comics now. He's very uncomfortable. He's creepy. <laughs> and the way that he treats Rogue is disgusting. Mm. And okay. she says she says no, and no and Creole is also no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and <laughs> All the fucking Mona Mies and shares in the world don't make up. <laughs> Wait, am I just how... having this revelation? Is he the Pepe Le Pew of the <laughs> X-Men? He, he's the Pepe Le Pew! The Pepe Le Pew! <laughs> Pepe Le Beau. Pepe Le Beau? Yeah. He, he totally is. And <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. We all think he's fucking cool. And you know what he would be like in real life? Taylor Kitsch in a five-minute cameo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I swear to God, Mike, you're changing chat right now. They are like you. They are coming on over to your side of things. This is I've never seen you this know what? before. You know what? F. Fuck him. Whoa! Whoa! I can't no, give it no. up. Cannot abide. I can't Cannot give it up. He's got like the Cajun thing. I like the look, the vibe of it. I like his hair. His dumb. He's the first broccoli head. You know what I mean? Damn! Well, my takes my takes are more explosive than his cards, and actually have an effect on people. All right, please, good <laughs> lord! Cards never really made a difference. The cards were there just so he'd be the first one to attack a bad guy, <laughs> and they'd do nothing, and they'd be like, "Oh, he's a real tough guy." Do we give him a uh, Jake? What do you think? What I leave it to you. I mean, he, for me, and, and you know what? If you take his staff and you give it to Beast, you just get Donatello, who's the best ever. Donatello Roll. I was more of a Michelangelo guy, but that's because I have a weed smoking problem and I really like pizza. Jake, what are you going to say? I know I had autism, but no one would tell me, so I love Donatello. <laughs> this is this is an incredible... In Look all of that. our... In all the times we have done this show, I have never seen someone lobby and litigate so completely and perfectly. This is like the Scopes monkey trial. This is incredible. You have like changed the game. Uh, I it I wanted to go ask, up, but now I I can't. I can't now. I guess uh, just just for the memories, just for nostalgia. D D, not an F. All right, let's Look, go. Man. I say we go D because of the costume. I like the costume. <laughs> All right, we're going D. I can't believe this. You always I have a veto balloon. This. We got veto balloons in chat. I also think you might want to go ahead and put up a poll, Jake, for right. uh, 
the vetoes. We've got a lot of, so we could, it could go up to a C. It can go no higher than a C. So it's C, D, or uh, keep it a D or F. And honestly, Mike, I would have maybe gone F with you, but I knew that these people in chat were going to get so fucking mad at me. So I went D just for them, okay? So remember that chat too when you get well, mad at me. Well, later. I don't make money off them, so I can say what I want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I can I can be a teeve like Gambit. I'm a teeve and I'm going to fucking steal your childhood and shit all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? All right. I don't even know who that Ice is. Man. Okay, Iceman. <laughs> I'm like, I, at this Bobby point, Drake. your choices in, in reference photos are so insane. I don't even know who the character is. That, that, <laughs> that, 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 that guy is how Billy Porter spent Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, and that's why we have my god. Uh, god, I hate this too. What is this AI site you're on right Terrible. now? It's making me Terrible. so sad. It's this insane site I stumbled across looking for photos here it's called insertface.com. I think my computer has thousands of diseases now from just clicking Ugh. on this, but yeah, that looks look I've got a shit. disease from looking at this. This is oh, I mean, man. some of these. Some of I, these, though. I, Iceman has never been a standout for me. Maybe I am unaware of uh, 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 certain story arcs or, or things about Iceman as a character uh, that make him a standout and a strong character, but I don't really have any experience with them um, personally. I would be pretty lukewarm on Iceman. Uh, what about you guys? Uh, if Poll is over, by the way. Gambit stays at D. The right. chat veto is still in play. I will say, in for Iceman, uh, another great emotional heart of the team. Been there since the beginning. A lot of fun takes on him. There was that... What, how did that shake out when they were like, he's gay, but only his past self is gay and his current self is not? I don't understand where they went with People that. People are saying he's gay in chat. People are really into the okay. fact that he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he came out as the time stripped version of himself, which was a weird way to do it. Anyway, in terms of like raw science of like what the actual implications of his powers are, the fact that he can like in the amount of energy, his body is reorganizing to create solid ice from <laughs> air that can support his weight infinitely <laughs> is stuff of like nightmares. There are like nuclear reactors, like the sun cannot produce the amount of insanity on a thermophysics level that Iceman can do. And I've always found that very fun. Mike? Well, remember those, those he's powerful. Those slides can support his weight, not ours, because he's not that powerful. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that look like, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go B on this one. Okay, I think why? He's a really important Fair. member of the team. He was the Michelangelo in the '60s. Um, hmm. He was always more fun than Angel, and they were in a lot of stuff together, like Defenders and Champions. Um, I like. I, I, look, I think that um, to me, North Star was originally intended to be queer, and has always been that way. Like I know John Byrne wasn't allowed to openly make him, but there were hints and things like that and to me you know he's like the iconic but i i think it is awesome that they also added another member for representation i think i think he serves a better purpose that way <laughs> as opposed to a third wheel with polaris and havoc um and i think yeah it's it's it's, it's a fun power set and he's really fun in the games in in the uh marvel versus capcom 2 he doesn't take chip damage when he blocks. It's pretty fucking ah, awesome. That's very good. Pizza Slayer 2000, by the way. Thank you for the sub. That's very cool. I didn't remember fucking with Iceman that much in the MVC games, but uh, that's oh, yeah. I would if I had known that uh, mechanic detail about him. I like the gay shit. I think that's really cool. That kind of bumped him up for me. Fair X play, though, does say uh, this list is a sham, putting him that much higher than Gambit. So I don't know uh, how we feel about uh, Fair X play in chat, but, uh, I, I, you know, I, I think it's okay after we've really found out how much kind of how molesty Gambit has been over the years. I think I'm okay. I should really I watch those cartoons again. Yeah, it's just challenging and upsetting. All right, let's give him a B. I say B. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Give him a B.
Give his ass a B. I don't care. Wow, I've completely. And, I've, I'm and, and, and the, to one more to one more point of fuck Gambit because it's really fun to do. <laughs> there is a better version of Gambit that is out there. If you still want that kind of guy, it's Nightwing. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. There you and go. He's consensual. I'm more mm. of a Shadowhawk guy myself, but either way, <laughs> uh, let's go with. <laughs> All right, and um, uh, Jean Grey. Gee! Yeah. Trying to remember the original costume there, which is what this uh, lady's wearing, I think. Um, Jean Grey Marvel enters the fray. I definitely feel like X again, X Men is not X Men without Jean Grey. Uh, you kind of, I don't know, she's just kind of this very important figure in everything. Obviously, like the, uh, you know, the the. Fe Why is she only, the only one that has a actual person's name by the way that always threw me <laughs> off as marble well. girl was awful it's a yeah. terrible hero name so weird she's the yeah. only person just that's her name is the name which are, immediately kind of makes me like her i would put her high of course i think personally she's just sort of yes yeah, she's sort of a der derivative version God, almost of like uh, xavier no. in terms of powers so many story arcs revolve around her there's so much shit uh that just is inherent in of with her being a part of everything i don't know i'm feeling like I'm, we're about well, to get a some of her best stories are like the dark phoenix saga only worked because she was so boring of a character anyway that yeah. it was like what happens when the all-american girl becomes gets twisted by the darkness and yes. like has power and i don't the think there was any nudity is, there but it very easily could have been ghost <laughs> fractal thank you for the sub keep going jake sorry i censored like, it <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you eric for keeping thank us you for doing the hard it. work of covering up the genitals Bush -cush, thank you for the sub appreciate oh no hey. ghost x fractal subbed with yes. time thank you uh anyways go on jake sorry i interrupted uh that like she was so boring that like dark phoenix only works because it's like what if the average boring kind of nothing character was given powers it'd be fucked up and scary right like it's just I don't know how, like, she's, she's, she's got the mom of the group, which is essential. You need a mom of the group. Do you, though? I, don't I think two, two dads could make it work just fine. Mike, what do you think? <laughs> do you think two fathers would be just as uh, uh, workable <laughs> in a parenting relationship? You no, know, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm going to, okay, I'm going to, before, before I talk about Jean Grey, I'm going to be really dumb here, but, um, Tirzo isn't live, right? It's just different clips you're playing a bunch. No, no, no Tirzo is live. Tirzo is in... all right. To, I hate to break the fourth wall here. Tirzo is completely <laughs> in the room with me right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So oh, the oh, yeah. reactions have been the same. <laughs> okay. Hogan, right, do not I look behind you. I'm Whatever so you do, right do not I'm look not behind to move. you. I'm trying to move my lips. I'm trying don't... to move. I just if you look at her, she'll enter our reality. That's the one thing you can't like, allow like, to happen. Mike Red Redactyl, thank you so much for the like, pride. Tears always making a lot of the same reactions. It remind me of like that that board game nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's amazing oh, though. Man. All right, well anyways, what do you think about G Gray? Where is your own juggalette? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop the juggalette. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rank her in a second. What do, what do you got for Jean Gray? Um there is there's actually a book called Obnoxio the Clown versus the X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. Um, Jean Grey, it, it's tough because a lot of, uh, her detriments aren't her fault. It's the fault of the times and, and writers in a way. Like, I I, I go B. Um, you know, the funny thing is in the 60s, every uh, woman's power uh, that, that Stan Lee, like, gave was all about just repelling people. Just like, get away. Mm -hmm. You know, I made a force field. I shoot a hex bolt. They all just like, yeah, exactly. There you go. Wow. They point their they point their hand at something and it just moves. And you know, because that probably happened a lot to Stan Lee. And I think that it's it's interesting. The Dark Phoenix stuff, it it sucks because she becomes such a victim in that. And and the problem is so many creators try to recreate it over and over and over again to the detriment of her growth as a character. 
And it sucks because it's like, you feel like you can't have her in a type of media, even, even though Dark Phoenix is, you know, 17 years into her existence, you can't have her without doing that story. And the story uh-huh. is almost bigger than she is. And it just becomes kind of redundant. And the whole thing is that she just gets taken over by this force and the gene in her, the personality in her is gone. And that's kind of a bummer. So yeah. um, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go B on this. I do think she's important to the team, but it's because writers just need to keep going to that same old fucking well. The amount of times that she becomes the Phoenix Force again uh-huh. just makes her boring. Or or the like love triangle thing. Uh, I would probably go A personally. Yeah. Jake, you break the tie. Herman Munster Cheese. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I would have gone C because of the weaknesses that Mike is uh, attributing to the writers that really, truly did wow. not know what to do with her besides sell a corruption story. So with if I'm the tiebreaker, I guess we'll have to go. You said B, right, Mike? Yeah, I did. I, I do think she's okay, important, B. but just. All right, let's go B. B. I agree. All right, cool. <laughs> wow, the spread. I can't believe Jake was going C. Done dirty. Maybe we can get some better stories with her. But either way. We got someone next. Who do we got? Uh, Jubilee. Jubilee. I love the name, and I loved her in the animated series. She really won me over, even though she, even she in the series. She was our point of view character. Yes, she was a point of view character in the series. Her powers kind of were pretty whatever, but I, I like the look. I have no idea what she is. In the larger X Men uh, history in the comics, I, I'm really just associated with that uh, animated show. Hmm. I mean, the yeah. problem with Jubilee is they gave her, they gave her Dazzler type powers, and you know, as as Jake said, she's the point of view character. There is a way more iconic, important point of view character in the X Men that we have not gotten to yet that I think just completely overshadow cats her. Um, and so I just don't think like she's interesting, but she's also a relic. Yeah. You know, not in the way that Gambit is, but she is so iconic. Like the look and everything is that specific time. I don't think they've ever fully been able to evolve her because they always still want to appeal to the fans that liked. Oh no. They always try and give her the most modern possible version of the yellow raincoat and wrap around pink shades. But it yeah, never yeah. quite lands. I mean, we she can't be high on the list. I I would I wouldn't put her high, and I'm the only person oh, who's talked wait, like super positive. Co- oh, do you want to feel guilty? Bun in the coven just said, uh, we actually got an Asian X Man, and it made me so happy oh, as a little girl. Oh <laughs> yeah, we then is she the only? That's sunspot erasure. Is that what is that what you're gonna say? Also, Mike? she's <laughs> she's Asian. I didn't I didn't know that that was a part yeah, of her. Too. Yeah, she's Chinese American. <laughs> No, ah. it's Sunfire. Or in the Sunfire, animated series, Chinese Canadian. All right, so what do we? I'm Sunfire going with you. Is Japanese and Sunfire is the first Asian X Men member. Uh, I feel I feel like uh, this is such a blip. <laughs> no, I need to be held to task. This is what we're here for. I feel like this is such a blip character to move on from. I'm. I think it's low, right? Are we looking at a D? I don't know. Or is it an F? It sucks, but they 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 mostly cut her from the movie, and not many people missed her. And that yeah. That, sucks but it's like because she's a character where whether you see her for one minute or 20 minutes you got your jubilee yeah Mm. all right d or f i i I go i go d all right let's go d all right where are we at how many do we have left let me ask that question (laughs) yeah eight or nine all right we're gonna lightning round a few of these Let's lightning round okay. a few of these, because uh, I know we finished strong here. Who is that? The pride of the X Men herself, oh, yes. Kitty Pride. Kitty Shadow Pride. Cat, which, okay. as a Jewish American, I have to say, her ethnicity had no bearing or emotional impact on me. She lit Hanukkah candles a couple of times, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I go very mid on Kitty Pride personally, uh, though I do like her. Uh, I love Days of Future Past. Uh, and she is a big part of that in a in a in a really cool way. But uh, other than that, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Mike, I go A. I think Why? She's really wow! I think she is the um, the perfect point These of view character. Awful, 
yeah this this is this is jubilee done perfectly um you know and i think that the power set is is cool in its own way but yeah. she's just an awesome fascinating character that we've watched grow she feels like a part of your life and when you talk to people who read um that iconic you know claremont burn run where she was first introduced and and then through the 80s and seeing her become a member of Excalibur and come back and even be a leader of the team. And she's got a cool pet dragon, Lockheed. Like, she's so fun. And, and, and to me, she was the biggest omission of the 90s show. I am a sucker for that one episode, Pride of the X-Men thing, that she leads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that I, I just, yeah, I like her better than Jubilee because I, I think that, yeah. She is more interesting. The the Jewish part of it, how that connects with Magneto. Like, there's a great um, moment in, in in 150 when Magneto thinks he killed her and he emotionally breaks down because he's like, you know, I fucking hurt a Jewish child. Yeah, and her bond with uh, Wolverine is great too. And and then they just replicated it with Jubilee. All right, mm. I would go. I dev that definitely moves me up to at least a B. Jake, finish this out. Jewish though, so remember that. You going A? I, I'm I'm not going A. I don't. I just like. <laughs> I don't know. She seemed like I. I just wanted more as a kid when I was reading those original stories. I was like, I want more cool uh, Wolverine. I want like why is this? I I just never connected with the character on that deep of a level. I agree with a lot of what Mike is saying, but it just that's just not my experience. So we want to settle uh, on B. B. All yeah. right, lock it in a B. And no, your bro just accused you of being anti-Semitic. All right, let's move on to the I next mean, one. I mean, who isn't these days? <laughs> yeah, Jake, cease fire with these low ratings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Misty. Oh, God. Eric, why? <laughs> sexy, Listen, Rebecca Romaine is a woman of age. She just, it's, yeah, she hasn't got the same, like, nobody can keep up that level of physicality. That just looked like the kid from the Sandlot if he ate the gum from Willy Wonka. <laughs> it looked like Jonah Hill's character from Mega Mind that <laughs> just like dropped into just a said, bottle. It looks like Jonah Hill. Yeah, it really was. That was that's why he could never take his shirt off when he went into the water, and then he wrote a whole post about it. Uh, all right, I think I'm high on Mystique. I feel like it's cool to yeah. like her though. But she is cool, and I don't. The only problem with me is like uh, my situation with her is like. But as a member of the X Men, I think I like her a lot more as a member of the uh, you know Magneto's crew. Brotherhood, yeah, mm. yeah, the Brotherhood. She is. She uh. She's pro, way she scarier, is. cooler, creepier. Feels like a better fit with with uh, 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 Magneto. But anyways, so but yeah. pro. Always uh, portrayed by hot naked ladies in the movies. Pro yes. has a cool little skull on her forehead yes. for no reason, which is very cool. Anti, the way that the popularity of the character has, she's like <laughs> everyone's mom. She's as like everybody's like secret girlfriend. She's just like every single thing in Deep X Men Lord she has to be a part of. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know as, but as a member of the X Men though, she's like because the X Men is always a little fun when they have some like black ops shit happening, all the way back in X Force. So like it's kind of cool when she's like running around murdering dudes. Brittany says she's a villain because her ability to change like that frightens men. Agreed. Uh, I would only rank her low on this list personally because I think she's just a cooler villain. Mike, weigh in. Well, you know they they did the the <laughs> official retcon the the Cartman's mom, uh, where it was oh yeah, that he's Nightcrawler's dad. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot. Yes, yeah, she's and, Nightcrawler's and dad. And Destiny is Nightcrawler's mom. Um, and huh. uh, this is this is one where uh, the apple is much better than the tree. Uh, in in terms of members of X Men, I just yeah. don't think that. I don't, I don't, I can't even imagine her like on an iconic lineup of X Men. Like, even, yes, like Magneto should be on this instead. I really just want to just yell at the person who made this list, but um, <laughs> you know, with, with an Irish sonic scream, but, you know, with a, <laughs> it's the man, yeah, like, it might be Jake. I mean, even, go on. Even, even fucking Multiple Man is better than Mystique as, an, as a member of the X Men. It's, it's just like. 
I just don't think of her, you know, like, and, and I think that, uh, you know, my interest in her has, has waned as much as Jennifer Lawrence is interested in wearing the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think that God. besides January Jones, she's one of the weaker parts of like the whole narrative of she's like, I love who I am. And, you know, it's like, but you like, I, I get the acceptance that I want to be myself, but it's also, you can shape shift. There are other people. <laughs> Right, like your kid, you fucking can't. <laughs> uh, all right, are we going D? Not a great mom. I'm getting a feel. Mm. I'm getting a feeling of D. As a member of the X Men, yeah, D. Yeah, as a member of all the right. X Men, D. Jake, if D. If we're talking overall character and member of the Brotherhood and the history, I, I'd, I'd go a solid B. But as a member of the X Men, D. She's very yeah. Now I'm not overall totally different. I feel like she's fucking a, a or S as a member of the Brotherhood. But uh, yeah. I, I think D for X Men, Jake. What what you, you got the final call? Well, I don't know if you go. I, I think I think it's D, dude. You're kind of outnumbered. Yeah, you, I'm outnumbered. I guess I got. I'd have gone C, but D for sure. All right, let's do the D. Give it the D. <laughs> Fucking definitely the D, dude. All right, and we move forward towards a final oh, tier list. S, now you can speak S, of what speak of what, S, towards what happens when Mystique gives someone the D. Oh, right, please. <laughs> I'm I'm high on Nightcrawler. I think if uh, if I wasn't convinced before, X Men Two convinced me fully. Uh, but I was kind of convinced before. I always loved Nightcrawler. He I think stormed he's, the building, Holton. Are you? He saying stormed he the just... building. He is a January six icon. <laughs> I'm high on this guy. I say I say at least I say a. I'm in the B A S range, Mike. Uh, S. All right. Yes. He's one of my yes. top five. Amazing power set, amazing design. He's so good in the Konami game. Uh, that little you know, thing you know where he like, jumps on German the bad guys. You two... know how hard it is as a German to win over two Jews? <laughs> <laughs> He's and and the religious stuff like it 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 works. You know, God loves man kills. Yeah. He's yeah. by far the the best part of the. Uh, the singer movies, the the Alan Cumming version is. Just, oh my god, like, so good! You, you you watch that and you're like, oh, the whole movie should be this. Like he's so yes. uh, amazing. It, yeah, it's a cool power set. It's a cool look. Uh, JD does Dev. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal did not play Nightcrawler. You're thinking of a different movie. I'm sorry yeah. to disappoint you. That is a different. <laughs> That's a character. good movie though. That movie rules too. And, and I think he's like one of the few characters. In all the comics, that is completely pure of heart. Yeah, and mm. I think that he makes other people better human beings by being around them. Fuck yeah, ass bitches, let's go! I'm fucking yes. Like even, even people that hate mutants are like, well, that one's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, he's the shit. All right, five and more even, in the even if block. he doesn't get his own action figure sculpt, they have to make him hands and feet that are original. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the all tail right. always falls off. But. Five left to go. What are the final five? <laughs> Professor X. I mean, Charles. He's, he's X, Charles and right? Charles. I mean, he's the he's the no. he's the no. headmaster. No, he's not a false little freak. He's a goddamn weirdo. <laughs> this is where I just don't ah! know anything. Ah! That's his job. His job is to like. I'll use my psychic powers to. Ah, he's too cool. I can't. The, you're gonna actually have to fight him. Ah. Okay. That's yes. He's. He, go on, he Mike. He does. Magneto was he, right. He achieves. He he achieves what Gambit dreams of. He's the ultimate <laughs> creep. Like <laughs> his powers are inherently creepy. But but now the problem with here's here's why I'm gonna I'm gonna put. Professor X right in the middle. I'm going to give him a C, and I'll tell you why. Mm. Because there are a lot of comics and a lot of stories where he's not there and he's not missing. You don't need him to be the leader of the team because Cyclops is. You don't <laughs> need him to be the smartest person in the room because Beast is. And they're also fun combat characters. I think that the, and the amount of times that he's... I, I think... You know, one thing I don't, I've never liked about him is in a story that is about diversity and acceptance. I think it's really sh genuinely <laughs> shitty the amount of times that they take him out of the wheelchair. I think he should always be mm. in the wheelchair. Yeah. And he should always be 
a role model and someone meaningful to disabled people. But he's not, and he's boring, and then he runs around with dinosaurs in the Savage Land. And <laughs> he, like, if, if, if you could take out most of the parts of him in the cartoon, you wouldn't miss much, except Moira. Mm -hmm. She's cool. Melandra's cool. Like, his <laughs> girlfriends are cooler than him. But him himself, I think that I just never fully miss him. I, I do think Patrick Stewart as him is like an iconic casting choice. Um, and, and I think that he was made better because of Patrick Stewart. Yes, but not because agreed. Of the inherent, not because of the inherent greatness of the character of Charles Xavier. All right. Mm. You can, all right. You definitely convinced me to bring him uh, down. Uh, I would still go maybe, I don't even know. And yeah, I think I'm with you on C. Jake, are you with, are you with on C? I was going to say C? C. Like, obviously right. he's the reason for the, when okay. he's dead, it's cool. It's fun to have people argue over what he would have wanted when he's dead. Yeah, That's he's almost, story. I feel yeah. like he's a better concept than a character. Like he's, it's better. Yeah. He just, he's like needed as a chess piece in all of this. Like in terms yeah. of storytelling and things like that. He's like more necessary well, who can afford in that mansion? way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and who can be oh, the I totem? Who, um, Angel, who's also fucking wealthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's kind of part of the point of him, by the way, too, is to kind of be a, a little bit of everyone's in him. But I get it. See, let's do it. See. All right. There you go. All right. Next up, we've got the final four. What do we got? What even is that picture, Eric? What even is this? What is, <laughs> what is that? I, Why? What is that? Why? Is I see just Tumblr too. I see you went into anatomy the, of the leg. I, I see you got into Tumblr. Uh, I mean, Psylocke. oh, oh, I know. No, this was a big deal back in the 2000s. It was an entire Tumblr blog dedicated to the weird comic book drawings where artists had to figure out a way to like draw a woman with her full ass and full breasts in view at the same time so it was called like weird spine female heroes or something got you that being said that being said i Is had a just huge crush on books? <laughs> yes that was the that was the thesis statement of the blog uh i had the hugest crush on psylocke they drew her like a fucking insane vision of of literally unattainable uh feminine beauty standards she was like deadly and like mysterious and whatever and then all of that was like purged even the nostalgia boners were purged in that fucking was it an x-men apocalypse where it's fucking what olivia munn in this yeah. like stupid outfit while uh magneto destroys the auschwitz concentration camp and there's like tears in his eyes and there's olivia munn just standing there being like yeah and it's me Psylocke. and i was like this character is dumb what is the point of, like what are we doing what, uh, what are psylocke's this is so embarrassing to ask what are psylocke's powers and abilities <laughs> is the only person uh, who i had to ask a, that about. he has she's a telepath but specifically less of a good telepath than professor x or jean gray she can concentrate her powers into the form of a cool bright purple knife that she like can stab people with also the psychic powers looks like a butterfly because that was her theme when she was a lavender toned british woman who was captain britain's sister but that's a whole nother can of this shit. is this is totally like was psylocke just introduced because like ninja stuff was cool and we were just yeah. talking about the frank miller well, Daredevil no, she was stuff. introduced because they wanted a like another psychic character she became a ninja because yeah there it is yeah <laughs> All right, then I'm low on this one. Uh, I don't even know what to say. All right, what do we go? What do we go on? D, what are we doing here? Well, I, I, you know, I have, I have two fond memories of, of her. One being my friend calling her Pisces Lock. When I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he also thought Rogue was Ragu. Uh, <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> but the other great memory was I sat next to Jake during X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> And when she's when she is there in in in, in, in the thong and uh, in in Auschwitz, Jake just looks at me and goes, "This confuses me as a young Jewish nerd." <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the funniest things anyone's ever said to me, and, and so I, I have to be glad she That's... exists uh, for 
for that. Um, That's so yeah, good. The character, once again, this is the writer, but the character is a is a, is a is a mess. Um, yeah, the whole it. She literally she colonized a person. <laughs> There's a British person took over an Asian person's body. It's so fucking weird. And, All right, uh, it, and and you know you know the the thing that <laughs> did the tracks are too like just look like Gambit. It, F, here's the thing: an F is fun. Like if you mm-hmm. hate something, it's because you have fun with it, right? But when you when you have a C, you kind of forget it. And the thing is. She wasn't in the '90s cartoon, and nobody missed her. Yeah, mm, I, I did, but for I very say, different reasons. I say you're and right. She wasn't but... all of the Capcom Marvel games because they're made by Japanese people. But C is <laughs> mid, F is fun to hate, D I think is the right choice here because she's just like got. It's got. I got to go more negative than mid because she. I think she kind of takes takes. Who else? Who else is F? Do we have an F? Yeah. Uh. uh what's Frost? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We can't just throw two sexy ladies in F. All right, D. <laughs> All right, D it is. Make it a D. <laughs> exactly for that fucking D-Hawk. Everyone's weird and horny in chat. We've got uh, three left. I believe it is, uh, who do we have next? Rogue, right? Uh, sugar. Listen, if this we character got, got gets less than an ass, left. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be more ornery than a long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs if this character is what, not What a fascinating. Respected. This is one of the only ones like it's like that that actually we didn't really talk about that enough with Cyclops honestly how much of a burden the power is to your life as much as it is like this amazing yeah. ability, you know? And and I feel like she encapsulates who, who gets that to so well. to be there and who who can't leave. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and her ability messed me up as a kid it was like wait what i thought i was supposed to just be like having fun with these heroes and she makes me sad because she can't touch people fully you know or 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 shit goes down it it was a really interesting i think just the complexity the layers of that make her such an interesting character that i put her very highly personally I, th- I think her powers were sadder before the internet existed and people could make a whole existence out of not being around anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, it's a lot less upsetting. <laughs> I, I think I think Rogue is, is great, but I, I'm going to go A. I think she's just a little below S. Um, yes. And, and the, one of the big reasons is uh, the movies just never did her justice. And, and I could say that about uh, another character we have coming up, but but is just stronger overall to me. But I also, think that, she uh, gave in to Gambit, and I know I'm victim blaming here, but I stand by that. She really gave in to his uh, persistence, and I don't appreciate it. Well, it's because I went into my transformation chamber and came out as Gambit or Ken. <laughs> <laughs> like I, he, I mean, yeah, like it's it's also, you know, her her whole thing of that. Like a part of her powers is like it's it's such an interesting idea and some people play with it, but I don't think they ever go the full like to have somebody's memories and experiences. Mm-hmm. Like they never you know what they never really do enough of? They never have like those awkward, interesting conversations of like afterwards, like how could you be around someone once you've absorbed all their thoughts and you know who they actually are as a person? Or you know, uh, I, I I think they they often make her so mopey that they forget to make her fun. And when she's fun, she's amazing. The movie version sucked because they just made her mopey too much. Yeah, and you kind of you know part of what makes her cool is the Miss Marvel powers, is the fact that she can just sit on an airplane wing and <laughs> punch robots. And no, stuff. the power set you know, is you know who has like no you... effect on robots. Psylocke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Rogue, Rogue can punch a sentinel and it always looks cool. Rogue, Rogue is definitely one of the iconic members, but just a little below S for me. I think Rogue I, is an easy A for me. Jake, what do you think? I are, are you both A and I'm just S? I think I'm A too. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely I agree with everything Mike said. And everyone's like right. freaking out about not having an S tier lady, but I think we got one in literally the next one. So. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> what do you say, Jake? Uh, 
I mean, if it, if if we're stuck at A, I'm gonna pop my veto and push it to S. All right, that's, push that's, it to I S. I feel this strongly. Push it to S. Uh, give it. Give us your final pop. piece on that. Uh, I think we talked about the messiness of characters, and Rogue <laughs> is one of the messiest characters possible. And I think that is an essential part of being an X-Men fan is just how convoluted and stupid. Like right. she has ties to like Mister Sinister. She has you know, the whole Ms. Marvel thing is just like there. The power fantasy is amazing. She is so like super strong, super speed, super flight. The uh, the utility and variety of situations you can get with the power and memory absorption's funny, and she's hot. She I had a child. All oh, right, that's what is, that's where it finally fucking gets to. That's what it's all about. All right, Storm is an S. It is clear. That is not, that is Maleficent. What is Eric, come on. No, 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 <laughs> that is Maleficent, no, 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 who's also an S. Wait, it says we're Storm at the Rogue. bottom, though. You're not done with Rogue? Well, uh, yeah. what, what, what were you going to say about Rogue? I get veto, don't I? Yeah, you do get veto. Mm, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you... I'm moving it back. I'm moving it <laughs> oh back. Oh, my today. God. Amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You know why, Jake? Because I'm from the South and we don't all fucking talk like that, sugar. <laughs> that means you read. You're from that Florida. Dialogue. That's a whole People different are so can of upset. fucking gator bits. People are so upset. Hey, all right, I'm not, all right. I'm not completely. I'm not completely Florida. I'm giving Storm an S. But <laughs> <laughs> also, also by but the way, I just uh, think. Uh, what were you gonna say, Mike? I just think, yeah, that accent. The uh, like when when it's when it's in the cartoon, it's fun. When they wrote it into just imagining fucking sixty year old bald headed Chris Claremont, <laughs> like, hey there, sugar. Ugh. We got a bunch of veto I'm balloons though, Jake. I'm, so I'm throwing up the poll. Put put the poll up. I I I I'm fine with Mike's. I love Mike's veto balloon uh, heel turn, but we're putting it back in. Also, uh, do we have one more gifted sub uh, balloon as well, Tierzo? I believe we do, right? Yeah, yeah. So if someone gifts five subs, you also get a your own personal veto. Button in the Coven also has one on the docket. Storm. I think we've already talked about how we're giving an S to Storm. Uh, I, I, I think we could actually, uh, let's give her praise. I think we can fucking burn it through over to Wolverine to finish it out. Aurora Sto Monroe is one of the coolest characters ever created, whether it is the queen of Wakanda or as the poetry reciting God, Mike, you remember Mateo Lane's impression, right? It was the fucking oh yeah. 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 I mean, uh, iconic the in the cartoons, iconic in the game. Has multiple classic looks. The the original 70s look, the Dave Cockrum is awesome. The Jim Lee yep. full suit is awesome. An amazing power set. The fact that she narrates everything as she's doing it. Um, survived mediocre film appearances. Yep. Like, that, what? that, that was, I that was the thing. Is when like, she when said, watch, what happens to a frog when it's struck by lightning? I was slapping my knees. I was <laughs> chortling heartily. The thing is, the thing is, both like Storm and 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 Rogue, especially in those first couple movies, are are lame. And you watch Storm, and you're like offended because you're like she's so much fucking cooler than that. With Rogue, you're like, yeah, I guess it's kind of okay. But All right, Rogue. By the way, this just in Rogue back to S. The chat veto has well spoken. Well done, chat. Don't well worry, done. I still have a well veto done. balloon though, so we'll see what happens. Actually, you know what? Let's fucking no. go! I agree with Mike! No! I'm vetoing it back no, down to come A! On. To pop that one, and then bring mine up, Rogue's going back to A! No one can- Jesus <laughs> Christ! I'm ah! gonna give five subs! I'm going to give five subs to our own fucking channel to undo this! <laughs> this is a fucking atrocious! If someone wants to give five subs and make it happen, we've got two gifted sub veto balloons left, and by the coming, you have a Jake. balloon! Jake, she's not real. She's real. She's not me. a real person. <laughs> she's real. All right, Bud in the Coven is moving her back up, and we have, 
And we have Amanda McPanda also who gifted five subs. But in the covenant, you're moving it back up. This is so funny and complicated. Yeah, but in the covenant's using the balloon to move Rogue back up. Amanda McPanda, maybe you wanted to move Rogue back up, but you're going to have to wait a second. You're going to get your own veto balloon just a little bit. All right, put Four Storm in S. Four vetoes on a single entry. This, is this madness. Has never happened. Uh, also, yeah. Can, I, can, can you? Can yes. You, can you thank me for all the money I'm getting you guys? Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. I, uh, go on, Mike. You're just living your truth. No, I mean, yeah. Storm, Storm is the X Men. She's one of those. You know, what what Cyclops is to the '60s and '70s, she is to the '80s and '90s, and even. When she didn't have her power, she was still fucking cool. Storm yeah. is iconic. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Let's go. S. The, the S I'm, of S's. Yeah. Super S. Amanda McPanda, let us know in chat if you already have a veto you'd like to do. Uh, you're the only one left. Uh, if not, we move on to our finale character, Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine, again, kind of like Cyclops. I feel like it's the same argument. You kind of don't have the X-Men without Wolverine. My Canada boy... Fuck, love this dude. He just he just brings the contrast you need for so many interesting, and also kind of has that rogue stuff, the, his ability to regenerate, his the pain he feels every time his claws come out uh, leads to the. I mean, Logan uh, is, uh, is. I love that movie. I just feel very strongly uh, and highly about Wolverine. And also, Mike, if you don't say yes and you named your kid after him, that's a <laughs> whole weird fucking thing we have to unpack. Uh, before we get to you, Mike's you, opinion, what were you say, Mike? If I if I didn't give him an S, you'd say I went rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, before we get to Mike, I, what do you, yeah, what do I you mean, think? Look, it, you know what's interesting? I mean, I've had a love hate relationship with this character, and I, mm -hmm. I I'm not the thing is my favorite superhero, and unfortunately. The thing Lawrence just doesn't sound good. <laughs> and I know someone else who already named their kid Ben because of the thing. And <laughs> and and we, I have a very sweet story of why Logan is Logan, and you know you guys know it, but I don't want. To, but um, but but it's interesting. Like I had to learn to realize how fucking cool I thought he was. I just I hated him because he was popular. And but the truth is, like it was reading those early issues. He is the great contrast to um, Cyclops, and and but I, I you know, and it's to Jean Grey's de detriment once again, which I blame the writers on. But the whole love triangle thing with the three of them never works for me. Him as a father figure always does, whether it's Jubilee, mm. whether it's Shadow Cat, the the character armor in the 2000s him you know wolverine the x-men that they built a book around him finally being a teacher it's like yeah he's overexposed and and he has some decent solo stories and look the the origin book i just think you didn't need it but but he does stand for <laughs> thank something. god someone has also, some sanity about he's, james he's Howlett. proof of he's proof of redemption that the x the x-men isn't just about model citizens it's about redeeming people yes you know and, and taking somebody that was broken and and helping them through their pain and making them a better person and and that's wolverine uh i couldn't put it better myself real quick amanda mcpanda says mystique up please and that is the final veto balloon of the night mystique going back up one slot uh i agree wolverine was cool when i was a kid I thought Wolverine, thank you so much, bringing her up to see. Wolverine was cool as fuck when I was a kid, became cool on a whole nother level as an adult. That's one of my favorite kind of enduring characters in any work. Uh, and again, I just feel like if he's on the cover, uh, you said at the very beginning, if he's on the cover, I'm buying it. And that just period. That's the fucking way it goes. Jake, S, are we and closing Holden, it out? You know, what? You, know what? you know what, Holden? Marvel knows that. That's why they put him on every cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In holograms sometimes. I really sometimes. <laughs> yeah god i was i was with mike on the uh it's overexposed the fact that like his whole character is he's the guy that doesn't like he's the outsider he's like the guy that's like almost like not quite part of a team but in you mentioned the storyline where he actually has to be the headmaster of professor xavier's school and it's you're right the journey the redemption 
the fact that he's uh, lived for so long and done so many things that the Canadian government took his bones and replaced them or coated them with metal. It's he's like a he looks real cool with that fucking crazy Weapon X helmet and the techno uh, thong, whatever that weird underwear <laughs> robot underwear they gave him is real cool. Uh, yeah, man, it's just he's the reason for the season. All right, and he doesn't have I've to always... hold six knives; they're built in. So, <laughs> like, because uh, that's too many knives to hold with just your hands. <laughs> Think of how convenient I've, I've that always, is. I've he always... gets six knives. I've always said this, you know, Wolverine is who you want to be, but Cyclops is who you are. And <laughs> both are equally Yeah, there important. it is. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, all right. Wolfman S, let's lock this list. Yeah, Wolfman S, like a motherfucker. And we're locking it in. There are no veto limbs left. Wolfman. Did I say Wolfman? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I thought you were doing it on purpose. Are you kidding me? I was like when I said Tuxin in that Cowman song. But either way, here it is. The final tier list. Let's jump to it. I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, we've got Frost Lady. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck all these names up. We got Angel Boy. We've got New Orleans Guy. And then Dazzle Lady. <laughs> No, Jubilee, Psylocke uh, at D, Dazzler, uh, I'm sorry, no, no, is that Dazzler? Yeah, Dazzler, Forge, Professor X, and Mystique at C. At B, C. we've got, is that Iceman? Yeah, he cometh. Uh, Jean Grey and Kitty Pride at A, Colossus and Cyclops. And to close it all out, at S tier, The Beast, The Nightcrawler. The Wolverine. I'm going off memory now. Storm <laughs> and Rogue somehow hard ends fought. up. Hard fought for Rogue. Rogue one over there at S tier. Dude, Wait, no, Mike. No, no, love no, wins. No, you love said, wins. You said hard fought. Uh, you should rephrase that to hard bought. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We got to start throwing those riches in to get that sweet money. Yo, speaking of which, thank you so much, everybody who subbed to the channel. Thanks, Jake, as always. And Mike, thank you so much for doing this. X-Men Tears of a Clown. We'll have to have you back. This is amazing. Thank you so much for doing this tonight. You got it, guys. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. All right. And tier oh, and Tearzo. I forgot to intro you, and I just almost forgot to thank you. I'm a piece of shit. You're the best <laughs> around. No one's ever going to get you down. Good night, Chad. Get, like, I'm sorry I questioned your, your existence, Tirzo. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, all right. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next week. Uh, we won't see you next week because uh, we, we're doing a little studio transish. We're going to uh, be back with you in two weeks. And uh, we'll see you soon, though. Take care, everyone. From sunny LA. Ta -ta.